Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the twist spectacle that is our game show. The indie horror with Saturday edges, but only madness leads. Can you become a winner on Who Wants to Be a Mary? But not for me, let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? Now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is to body bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun games, shall we? In the concrete jungle of New York, where dreams come to die. Wow, that's depressing. We have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. Greetings, esteemed guests. It is a pleasure to grace your screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Wow, these people are some interesting characters. Next up, from straight from the United States of America, with the skill and determination of a true gamer. Aren't these all from the United States of America? All wild card participants. Z Lance, 993. I think a nice simple hey there works fine for me. And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction, hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo through the night. We had the inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. That is terrifying. Greetings mortals, let's embrace the unknown together. There you have it dear viewers, all motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle in this arena, so sit back, relax, and prepare yourself for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin. Wow. All these people, contestants are terrible people. Every single one. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test, and every correct answer will swell your coffers by a handsome $10,000. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depth of the unknown, shall we? Lance, your question awaits. Which psychological condition caused the individuals to believe they are already dead? Holy shit. Uh, that's an actual thing? Uh, it's not Stockholm Syndrome. Hapgloss Syndrome? Maybe? And the answer is... Oh, fuck. Would the living believe they're just a heartbeat away from joining the ranks of the jelly Departed? Cotard Syndrome, okay. I... I did not know that. I did not know that was a thing. What is the deepest trench in ocean... See, why could I get something easy like that? I'm going with C. Come on, Richard, what do you got? Puerto Rico Trench. Wow, you are an idiot. Didn't you say you were a genius or great? The Marina Trench holds the title of the deepest trench in the ocean, shrouded in darkness and mystery, where the pressure could crush even the toughest of souls. That I that I knew. That was the What ancient torture method involves tying a person to four horses and pulling them apart in different directions? This one I actually do know. The answers are quartering, playing, drawing, quartering, and D, impalement. Drawing quartering. I think that's correct. Or quartering. Yeah, it's drawing quartering. Okay. Well, the only thing more torn apart than the victim is the rule book of human decency. Talk about a stretch goal. Wow, they're making puns out of this. Holy shit, this is dark. What is the name of the mythical creature sent to lure sailors to the doom? Siren, right? A. Siren. B. Mammy. C. Kraken. D. Leviathan? Could the mermaid and siren also be kind of the same? My guess is siren. And the answer is correct. Well, fucking dud, Edgar. The enchanting yet deadly siren with her haunting melodies led countless sailors to their watery graves, a chilling tale of maritime peril. That concludes our first round of mind bending questions, folks. Well, shit. And with that, we're taking a short break for our sponsors. But don't run off, my lovelies. When we, when we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. 
Well, except when it comes to the mini game with a knife, of course. Uh, wait, what? My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. I don't. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Oh, shit. Oh, I can move. I don't know if I can do this, Lance. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared too. What if I mess up? What if I get hit? So, should I try and build rapport with it? Or should I just kind of cycle up? Maybe if I build rapport with her, she, she seems like the most decent one out of everybody here. So maybe building a rapport with her would actually help me save my life in the long run. We can find a way out. Listen, Sarah, if you're not up for this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth risking hitting you. That's, I think, I think I need to get out of here. Yes, my best if you leave. Yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. Thank you. I appreciate your understanding. Of course. Oh shit! What the fuck just happened? Did she just get shot? Oh shit! Uh... Sorry? What's this knife game coming up? Who knows what'll happen? Tough wake about Sarah, huh? But hey, this game isn't for the faint of heart. You just spared her from suffering. It's survival of the fittest, after all. Well, Richard, you all kind of a dick. But then shh. Edgar. Are you sorry about Sarah? Uh, yes. I didn't think that would actually get her killed. You did what we had to do. Listen, in this game, there's no turning back or running away. It's best to keep that in mind. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live once again, but unfortunately, we have encountered a slight setback. Sarah will be unable to continue with the games due to an unforeseen circumstance. Yeah, she was shot. With one contestant already eliminated, we will have to skip our first mini game, albeit reluctantly. A few not, dear viewers, for the show must go on. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. Will the contestants, more fiery, will be put under the microscope for all to see? Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will rise to the occasion, who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Here we go, Zlance 1993, question time. You witness a crime, but are offered a large sum of money to remain silent. What's your response? Hmm. Let's see, accept the bribe, stay silent, refuse the bribe, and do nothing. Report the crime to the authorities. Demand more money for your silence. I'd probably re report to the authorities because if I just accept the bribe and stay silent, that's like a loose end. And I've seen enough movies to know that loose ends usually get tied up, so to speak, at the end. So, I think this would be the best way to stay alive. Oh, interesting. The speaker to profit from silence, a moral conjury ripe for manipulation and deceit. Ah, Richard, here's the question. You offered immortality, but innocent lives must be sacrificed. What's your answer? The answers are, except with reluctance, eagerly embrace immortality, rationalize sacrifices for longevity and deed, reject immortality, value life. My answer is rationalized sacrifices for longevity. Oh, interesting. There's really no wrong answers here then. Immortality, the ultimate price to just dash of bloodshed. This is really disturbing. It's your turn, Edgar. Ready? You receive a letter containing disturbing photographs of yourself taken without your knowledge. How do you respond? Ooh, this would be a good one. The answers are notify authorities and seek protection. Use them for promotional material. Okay, maybe it's starting in OnlyFans. Dismiss it as amateur blackmail. And D, investigate and take legal action. I would say investigate and take legal action is probably what you're going to choose. Oh, no. Okay. My answer is use them for promotional material. Oh, interesting. A picture is worth a thousand words. Or oh, in this case, a thousand nightmares. Drawing him ugly? That's rude. Alright, folks, that wraps up the second round of questions. I only have 25,000. I thought it was 10,000 for the question. And my, 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 have we peeled back some layers? Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal. 
The raw essence of each contestant. They size each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. What, what's to come? Hold on, wait. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned. After this short break, we'll reveal the true finalists of this twisted little game. And for you out there watching at home, don't forget to call our toll-free number to join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Voting, eh? Well, well, well. Things are about to get interesting. The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting for too long. Oh, damn. She's still, like, really dead. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. So it's come down to this. Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestants? No. Edgar the champ, he's the trouble for me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the final, wouldn't it? Well, that's a good point. How about we vote him out and clear the path for us? Maybe we should do it and then I can backstab Richard because he's a dick. Like he said, trust is a rare commodity. I don't want to play Diddy. I want to keep this guy guessing. Because he'll probably still go for Edgar because he is the champion and he does have the most money here. Those so Vance, are you ready to continue or do you need another moment? I'm ready. I can't do anything else anyway. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Before we kick things off, gotta say, I like the answers you gave in the last round. And if you've been enjoying what you've seen so far and you want to see more, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for the next Weird Indie Boy. You're holding your own pretty well. Just a fan of the show. Oh, really now? Well, color me impressed. Always nice to meet a dedicated viewer. Okay, let's continue. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Before we dive back in, here's quick shopping advice. Looper, the last mission. A small cage shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and can battle against your past selves. And it's available at the incredible price of zero dollars. Weird. It's time to introduce our next phase, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast a vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestants with the most votes will be out of the game. Now, to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants will be eliminated and there will be no winner. So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. Alright, let's get down to it, Zanias 1993. Who are you voting for? So, I don't think Eddie is going to vote for me. I think he's going to vote for Richard, and it's going to be like a sudden battle to the death between me and Edgar. So I'm going to say Richard. Richard, what about you? No, see, ha! And finally, the chap, Edgar. Oh, shit. Alright, we have a winner, or should I say, an eliminated contestant. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm dead. We are going to give this another shot, or I'm going to die trying. And the question is, what is the name of the infamous serial killer who inspired the character of Hannibal Lecter? Would that be Jeffrey Dahmer? Fuck, oh, Ed Gein. Ed Gein, a real life... Was that really Ed Gein? I thought that was... Ed, I thought Ed Gein was the dude for Psycho. Who was the infamous serial killer known as Jack the Whip? We don't know. Wait. Jack the un Ted What? Unknown, let's see. That is actually correct. We never- That's amazing that that- The first serial killer was never figured out. Jack the Ripper never figured out who he was, even after all this time. Ah, so here's the question. When Notorious Cult Leader orchestrated a series of brutal mur murders in the late 1960s, including actress Sharon Tate. The answers are... Marshall Applewhite, David Koresh, Jim Jones, or Charles Manson. Charles Manson? Hey, so I got that one right. So, you know, I got, I'm got i one for two at this point. Okay, so everyone's... Wow, this is going to be a, a dark horse. I'm going to be coming back. What's the name of the mysterious force in Romania known as the most hot force in the world? The answers are... Boy... Bacau Force. I think that's the, actually the it. I know I butchered the, the name of that, but I think it's A. Black Force, Daring Woods, or... I can't... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I want to say A. It's A. Yes! Where trees whisper secrets and shadows dance with the 
damn. Walk in the park if the park were hell itself. Yeah, I hear that that forest is actually pretty haunted with not just ghosts, but also supposedly aliens and all kinds of other uh, interesting things. People have gone into that forest and come out years later, supposedly. All right. Bloody exciting game coming up next. Uh, we didn't play this game before. There's no cutting claws here. Well, except when it comes to the mini game, with a knife. Uh, wait, what? With a knife? My dear contestants, well, I'll off the air for now, but if you're not, if you need to, if you know, you know where to find me. All right, so we're gonna talk to Bella and try not to get her killed this time. Do you think so? Okay, let's do this. All right. With life game coming up, who knows what will happen. I heard Sarah's not having it too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through this one one piece. Ready for the knife game? Just remember to take it slow and say, No need to rush into anything risky. I have a feeling that you're lying to me. I think you're not looking out for me. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Such a weird atmosphere. Back in the air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. No his wish, an intense boss battle to the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. You will enjoy absolutely free. Now it's time for our first minigame of the evening, where the contestants' courage will be put to the test. Let's see if they have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Ah, uh, wait, what? Here are the rules. Contestants will have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. They must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. At the end of the time of the contestant, will, the lowest score will be the first to face elimination. Let the games begin! Oh shit, it's one of these games. Don't try this in real life. I don't know anyone that's crazy enough to, ooh, to do that because of that reason. Damn it! It's the same finger! Damn it! Damn it! I'm gonna have no finger there. What oh, in- Oh, I got the best! Look at me go! Only cost me, you know, tip my finger, but hey, I did the best. First elimination. Who- I, I, I wasn't even paying attention who lost. Oh, and... I just said a chainsaw or some kind of motor, but our plan to save Sarah didn't really work out. That sounded like a buzzsaw revving up. Things just got serious. Well, no shit, dick. Now the game truly begins. Here we are. Let's continue with the show. We're diving straight into our second round of questions. Will the contestants and the will be put into the microscope for all to see? Every answer in this round will earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any conditions. Let's see who will rise to the occasion, who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. No, I don't have one at this point. Because I just apparently got sale killed. So, conscience out of the window. You must save one family member or ten strangers. What do you decide? Hmm. Huh. Save the strangers, save the family member without hesitation. Can you tell me which family member? Save the strangers. Cause you know, you're saving more people overall, parameters or the needs of many. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking, like, you know, the needs of many. That, I, I wish I, they gave me, like, if it was like my mom, my brother, that'd be different. But you know, if it's like some dude I down in my family I don't know, never met, then I don't like. Here's the question, cause it's still a stranger at that point. You find out a friend who's been secretly stalking someone for months. Oh, what the? Okay. The answers are, brush it off as harmless curiosity. Uh, no. Offer to join in on the adventure. Distance yourself, confront confront your friend, and seek help. I would do D. Offer to join in on your dick. Man, you have some issues. So, um, yeah, I think dick's a little weird here. There's something going on with this guy. What about Edgar? Edgar, are you, you, you are at least a, a, what, an upstanding fellow, I hope. Receive a letter containing the 70 photographs of yourself taking it without your knowledge. How do you respond? The answers are, notify authorities and seek protection. Dismiss it as amateur blackmail. Use them for promotional material. Okay, starting I guess like an old fans. Or D, investigate and take legal action. I would say ask for protection, right? 
Investigate and take legal action. Okay. Interesting. Pictures worth a thousand words, or in this case, a thousand nightmares. Oh, you got fifteen hundred from that. Was that ten thousand? All right, folks. That wraps up the second round of questions. And my my, have we peeled back some layers? Okay. Well, same stuff as before. This is the next phase where I died last time. <laughs> Hopefully, I, they don't vote me off the island. All right. Voting eh? Well, well, well. Things are about to get interesting. I hope they don't make me vote first. Uh, watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. Let's come down to this. I trust you over the other... Yes. Edgar, the champ, he's in trouble. For me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the final, wouldn't it? How about... We vote him out and clear the path. Sure, yeah, let's do it. Who's the rest? Who? Uh, so, I want to vote for Edgar, and ideally, Richard Shaw to vote for Edgar. Right? Alright, so let's see the voting round. Yes, this is what we're waiting for. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be. I don't know if I want to go first. Yep, so same rules as before. Edgar. Edgar, A. Hey! Well. Edgar, you are out of the game. Yes, you are. Alright, folks. We're getting closer to the grand finale of this show. And that means... See, Dark Horse, I told you. Don't underestimate me, people. I can come back from a lot worse than this, apparently. It means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each correct answer in this final round will earn you a whopping $25,000. But enough chit-chat, let's dive right into the last round of questions. Let's hear it, it's an answer. 1993, questions up. How long can a person survive without food or water under normal conditions? I know it's different. For water, it's what? Three to five days. For food, I think it's like up to three weeks depending on your size. So we're going to do three to five days. And yes, who is correct? Three to five days. Desperation sets in, a primal instincts take over, and survival becomes paramount. Richard, your question awaits. How long can a human survive without oxygen before experiencing irreversible brain damage? The answers are three to five minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, seven to 10 minutes, 12 to 15. I want to say three to five, right? Three to five. What? what? It's not 3 to 5? What is it? 7 to 10. Silent countdown to oblivion. Suffocations dance with death. Oh, I don't know it was that long. It's actually kind of surprising. I thought without oxygen, you'd be kind of screwed quicker than later. It's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. All two finalists will engage in a duel fitted... Whoa. All two finalists will engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills, a real bloodbath of entertainment. I don't like the sound of that. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. Hope you're all handy with a rifle. What? What? Rifle? Are we going out with a bang? Here we are. No more games and tricks from now on. Just you and me left. But I'm sorry. I'll be the one walking away victorious. Uh, no. Well, you're gone. You're gone. I guess I'll talk to you. Yeah, no, f let's just go. Let's just, uh, I I'm feeling good about this. I've always lasted longer than I have before in my life, so, well, this life at least. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the air. We're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive back in, here's the last shopping tip. Minesweeper Reborn, a modern reinterpretation of the classic Minesweeper with updated graphics and a new gameplay mode. And guess what? It's absolutely free. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, who is a fool for paying... To promote these, right? Yeah, that's true. Who's paying to promote a free game? Ladies and gentlemen and Steam finalists, we... Ladies and gentlemen and Steam finalists, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questions, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife minigame. In the second phase of questions, and in the voting, we probed the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to limit another individual. In the final phase of questioning, we assessed whether you know the method and if you made it here. You have all the cards on the table to be a true murderer. What? 
two murderers, what? Yes, we did technically lead to the death of two people. It's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action. And so, in this last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle in 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the new champion of this dazzling episode of our game show. Let the festivity be... What? Oh, I have to kill people? Oh, shit. Oh, I should at least be able to aim. Oh, I would hate to be in these seats right now, but you know, I guess if you're going to watch this, you got can't be a good person. So let me let's just think of it like take out the trash, right? Just taking out the trash. All these people that came to watch us kill people have to be bad people too. Kind of like you know, when you see people that do like criminal acts or whatnot, they're usually followed with other people that like to do criminal acts. Oh, I outshined Dick all day. I almost was getting close to doubling his score. Well, Dick, I'm sorry to tell you, buddy. You just didn't measure up enough. Maybe the last time that happens in your life. All right, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their um, valiant efforts. Uh, that the Dick side is kind of. That has a lot less people over there. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say, our middle is none other than... No, please don't do this. I'll do anything. I'll beg. Lance, 99.3. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. About the journey, the thrill of the hunt, the adrenaline rush, rush of the kill, the adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. I don't know. What the fuck with this host? So without further ado, let's crown our middle and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of Who Wants to Be a Better? So I finally passed and won the championship this time. Interesting indie game, kind of horror-ish if you consider acts of mass murder horror, which kind of what I did there at the end to clinch the the winning seat. Definitely wasn't a bad game. A very interesting concept. I think there's a lot that could be done here, and I would challenge anyone to make something like this with little more fear in it. There's lots of possibilities. But yeah, four out of five bones with this one. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. Let me know your thoughts on what's the murder.